All right, so it is time for Reader's Workshop. And um, today we're gonna do some really fun things. So, first question. Who remembers this story? Green Egg and Ham. Remember we read it and the cat in the hat does not like green eggs and ham. He does not like it at all. But then, once he tries it, he realizes that actually, they're not that bad at all. Well, the same thing with us readers. I realized that there might be some stories that you start reading and you're like, this is too hard, I don't like this at all. But once you start using your superpowers, I know that you'll realize it's not too bad and you can do it. So now that we have so many powers for our reading, you are probably reading lots of different kinds of books. And just like you, the books are going to keep growing and changing. You read lots of books that are lists or patterns that sound like this. The boy likes to run. The boy likes to jump. The boy likes to climb. But now that you are graduating to new books, remember that some books are still lists and patterns, but sometimes you'll open a book and find in it a story just like the true stories that you wrote in Writer's Workshop. So today I wanna to teach you that when you read a book that is a story, it will tell about a person or an animal, and that person will do one thing and then the next thing. And finally, the story will end. So, readers, when you read a story, it's not just the pictures and the words on the page that help you read. Thinking about the story helps, too. So, if I wrote a story that started like this, the girl, the little girl dropped her ice cream cone on the ground. What do you think might happen next? Make a prediction in your brain. Maybe she started to cry. Maybe she picked it up. Maybe she asked her mommy for a new one. You see... Thinking is helping you even before you see or hear the next page of the story. So let's try it. So let's say I wrote a story like this. It was my birthday and I walked into the room. I saw a lot of kids and a big cake. The kids jumped up and what do you think happens next? Think in your brain. Maybe they... They said, surprise! Maybe they said, happy birthday! Maybe they started singing happy birthday. But you see, when you read a story, you don't just wait for the words and the pictures to tell you what comes next. Your brain can tell you too. The start of the story helps you think about and maybe know the next part of the story. So let's try this in a book together. Okay, here we go. So this is a book just like many of the books in your baggies. Wake up, Dad. So let's stop for a minute and think what's happened so far in this story. So think about what's happened so far in the story and then think about what's going to happen next. Try to make a prediction. Think to yourself. Okay, so we're thinking what might happen next in this story. All right, let's, so let's try it. Let's go ahead and let's try it. So wake up, Dad. Kate is up. Nick is up. James is up. Dad is asleep. Kate said, wake up, Dad. I am asleep, said Dad. James said, wake up, Dad. I am asleep, said Dad. Okay, so now we want to make a prediction. We want to stop and we want to think. Okay, what do I already know? Well, I already know that Dad's asleep. He doesn't want to get up. But I know that Kate and Nick and James, they're awake. And Kate already said wake up, and James already said wake up. So maybe next, Nick is going to try to wake Dad up. Well, let's find out. Dad, Dad, wake up, said Nick. Wake up, Dad. I was right. I was right, my friends. So do you see how I stopped and I thought about it? I thought, what do I already know? 
and what can I know about the story? What can I say is going to happen in the story? So readers, using everything you know about stories can help you think about and understand your books even more. Remember, don't just wait for the pictures and the words to tell you what happened. Use your brain and everything you are thinking about the story to help you too. So when you are reading your stories today, friends, don't forget to stop and think what might happen next and then keep reading to find out if you are right. Make sure, friends, that you are doing this more than once so you don't want to just do it the first time. But you want to do it over and over again. And I want you to still be using your sound power, your super sound power, and your super picture power. So, but now we're going to use um, our new power of making predictions. That means taking a guess about what's going to happen next. So when you're retelling, you want to retell who was there, where they were, what happened, and make sure you put it in order. So if I'm telling this story, I don't want to say, um, Nick jumped in down on the bed, and then Dad was asleep, and then James asked Dad to wake up, and then James and Nick and Kate, they were all, no way, that's confusing. You want to say, first all the kids woke up. Dad was still asleep though. Kate tried to wake Dad up, James tried to wake Dad up, and Nick tried to wake Dad up. And then we want to say who was there? Nick, James, Kate, and Dad. Where were they? They were at home. What were they doing? They were trying to wake Dad up. So you see friends, what you want to do is you want to think about who, what, and where and you want to retell to make predictions. So now I want you to take a moment and make a prediction. What do you think is going to happen next? So after Nick says, wake up, what do you think is going to happen next? Do you think dad's going to wake up? Do you think he's going to stay in bed? Take a moment, make a prediction. All right, friends, so we're going to see on a different day what your prediction is, if it was true. But right now I want you to start reading. Please be reading the whole time. And then I want you to write about your stories because Ms. Morgan wants to see what you wrote about your stories. Okay, friends? Remember, you can draw pictures and labels and then use your words. Good reading. Happy reading. Have fun.